How far have we come? Well, by the turn of the wheel, it tallies just 200 miles since we hit the Pecos. Hey, we're clear out of the United States. By wagon tally, we've come 200 miles. Boys, I claim this land by right of discovery. We'll locate here. Put the cattle on the bedding ground. <laughs> Styles, your right of discovery may not hold in the future. Being your lawyer, I suggest that you let me drop proper legal papers. You can buy up the land with a bale of dirt cheap land strip. We won't have to do that, Brewster. All we have to do is control the water hole. You file on them, and Ash and his men will hold the land for me with their guns. Here's a map of this Pecos River country. Here we are, right here. Mm -hmm. What do you suppose our little empire will survey? Oh, about a million acres. Hmm. Not bad for a start. How about the water? Main water control centers in the Pecos River, right here, with the creeks running into it. Mm -hmm. Ash, uh, what were you telling me about Sweetwater? Well, after the Pecos turns off there, you've got 60 miles of alkali desert before you come to Sweetwater. What you mean is that no herd could travel over the North Trail without water in the Sweetwater, huh? That's plumb true. Put Sweetwater down, Brewster. When they start driving Texas cattle to the Kansas markets, that's going to be the key to our empire. Might be trouble about Sweetwater. Man by the name of Claiborne's already settled there. Huh? Well, that's all right. I'll buy him out fair and square. What if he refuses to sell? Brewster, you learned your law from Blackstone. Ash learned his from Judge Colts. If Blackstone loses, I'm counting on Colts to win. Hmm. Well, this cotton wouldn't give you plenty of shade when it grows up. And you can build me a veranda. And the cabin will look like our old Claiborne home back in Tennessee. Big outfit moving up the Picos, Pa. Heavy arms. There's two of them headed this way. They look peaceful-like, but you never can tell, John. Howdy, stranger. My name's Stiles. Howdy. I'm Claiborne. I'll give you $500 for your land and your shanty just as they stand. You can take your cattle and move on to a new range. This place ain't for sale, Stiles. I'll be more than fair. A thousand. I'm not selling. We're buying up this country with land scrip. You'd better take the thousand. I've held my homestead against Comanche. Reckon I can hold it against land thieves. Get out. Sorry, Claiborne. Thousand dollars a heap of money when all you've got to do is call your dog and move on. Must be done for. Come on, let's rush them. This homestead is yours, John. 
Go to your grandpa in Austin. He'll help you. Labyrinths are both done for. The boy is still at it. What's he planning to be? A lawyer or a gunman? Looks like both. Ever since he came to me ten years ago, he's had one idea in mind, and I've never been able to change. I guess you'll be an honest to goodness lawyer pretty quick now, eh, John? Yeah, when I pass my bar examination. Well, when you hang your tingle out, you can sure get my business. You ought to be right smart at collecting. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bill. There's one case I've got to take care of first. John Claiborne versus Alexander Stiles. Yes, sir. Alexander Stiles owns the whole town of Cottonwood and a million acres back of it. In ten years, he's become the richest cattle king in the Pecos. I suppose he's got so much money, he had to bring that salamander safe all the way from St. Louis to keep it in, huh? <laughs> well, Mr. Clay, you haven't told me your reason for leaving Austin to come out here. I'm going to hang out my shingle to practice law in Cottonwood. A wise move, young man. The railroad will soon be finished to Abilene and open up a big market for Texas beef. And mark my words, this Pecos River country will boom then. There she is, boys. The only safe west of the papers. Ain't she a beaut? <laughs> you see that? They call her a salamander because she can go through the hottest fire and never melt. Ain't got nothing on you, Styles. I ain't never seen anything made you melt either. <laughs> <laughs> I says from now on, your name will be Salamander Styles. <laughs> hey, hey, Salamander Styles! Uh, yeah. Mr. Styles? Yeah? I'm Eli Jackson. Jackson? We corresponded about the purchase of some land. Oh, yes, Mr. Jackson. Well, I'm glad to know you all. And uh, this is my daughter, Belle. Well, welcome to Cottonwood, Miss Jackson. Thank you. And here's the young man you ought to know. He's going to practice law in your town, John Clay. Oh, lawyer, eh? That's right. Well, I'm afraid you've come to the wrong town, Mr. Clay. We already have one lawyer here. That's plenty. I'll take a chance on that. Well, come into my office, Mr. Jackson. I'll fix you up. Fine. You'll fix him up all right, like he fixed us. What are you going to fix? I'll tell you later. Tell me what? Never mind. Don't forget you promised to call when we're settled. I will. Goodbye. Goodbye. You one of them law fellows? Yes. Well, me and Josh here have got a case for you. Case? Case of what? 
Oh, poison oak. Hargreaves, good for that. Come up to the shack. I want to talk to you. Well, let me get this straight. Stiles buys your cattle, pays you back with these notes which he refuses to honor. You're dang tootin'. The only way we can get anything out of him is discounting them half and taking that out and trade at a store. Well, why do you sell him your cattle? We gotta. Now, you won't give us no more water. He owns every drop in the country. How many ranches like you are there? Well, about 20. 21 counting that new fella, Jackson, and he'll get the same deal. Sounds like a polite form of cattle rustling. I'll take your case, Hank. Take it well. The court. Oh, here's that bar grease. I can't fool with no subpoena, young fella. I got business over Casa Grande. In a hurry. Come on, Hank. We'll serve it ourselves. Dang, if you ain't grabbing a wildcat right by the tail, but I'm with you. Come on. How do you like your new home, Miss Jackson? Very well, thank you. And we want you to know we appreciate those 50 head of cattle you sent over. Why, well, it was nothing at all. Always glad to help a new rancher get started. <laughs> you give that fellow Jackson 50 head of stock? He signed our usual sales contract. He has the utmost confidence in Mr. Stiles. Yeah, he's working for me now and doesn't know it. <laughs> Hello, John. Well, hello, Bill. I've been wanting to see you. Well, why didn't you come over? Well, I've been pretty busy. Tell your father that I'm trying a case in court tomorrow. I'd like to have him there. He'll be there, because I'll bring him. Good. What's this, young fella? Selling something? Serving your notice, Stiles. To appear in court. I'm afraid you're the victim of a practical joke, young man. Circuit judge doesn't get around this way very often. No cases for him. The cases start with this one. Oh, they do, eh? Then I'll give you a case right now. I hope it shoots straight. It's a right 40 gun. I may be back for it later. No need of that now, Ash. Thanks, Hank. I'm getting plumb forgetful. I forgot to load the darn thing this morning. Wait a minute. Where's the judge? You wasn't able to get here. <laughs> what happened? What's everybody leaving for? I'll tell you later. I'm sorry it turned out this way. Thank you. What did she say? She 
said she was sorry. Sorry for what? Why didn't see her do nothing? Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought he was a nice young fellow. Oh, he'll learn. Don't be discouraged, Clay. This court may open most any time in the next 20 years. This court will be open Monday morning, Stiles. You'll be here. Keep walking. If they'd have wanted us, they wouldn't have wasted a bullet on that lamp. Hank, get your boys together and tell them they've got a case against Stiles. It'll mean water and grass for their herds. Watch them. They'll come like a bunch of steers stampeding for water. You've been paying tribute to Stiles for the use of his water holes. You've let him sell your cattle for worthless notes. How long are you going to stand for it? How are you going to stop it? I'll tell you how. Stiles claims all the water rights around here. As a lawyer, I'm here to tell you that those claims wouldn't be recognized by any court in the Union. You mean to say that the water rights don't belong to Stiles? We can prove that they're in public domain and open for you men to file on. Now, here's how we'll go about it. Isn't that Judge Dunlap? Yes. Monday morning, Stiles. Just what's your game, Clay? Won't take you long to find out if you'll step over to the courthouse. Yeah, this party's on us. Be right over, Salamander. I am thankful to you, citizens, for offering the court the protection it has lacked in the past. You have made it possible for me to render justice impartially. Take off your hat. Plaintiff will remove cigar. Plaintiff will remove cigar. Plaintiff will remove cigar, or deputy will remove plaintiff. He means you. You must be getting deaf. <laughs> Order in the court. <clears throat> now we will proceed with the business of the court. Hank Matthews and Josh Billings versus Alexander Stiles. Your Honor. I represent the independent cattle owners of this section. They've come here to petition the court for the right to water their herds. For years, they've been paying toll to the defendant, Alexander Stiles, for the use of water which is in public domain. I wish to submit evidence proving the defendant has no ownership of these water rights. What is the nature of the evidence? Your Honor will look over these documents. They'll explain themselves. I offer them as Exhibit A. Your Honor, it is regrettable that my serious young colleague here has gotten off on the wrong foot on his first case. But inexperience and errors go hand in hand, and 
I'm sure he will learn in time, if he can secure enough cases. In rebuttal, I offer these documents for the uh, defendant, Alexander Stiles, showing that the aforesaid Alexander Stiles has filed on and is legal owner of said water rights in question before this court. May it please your honor to accept these documents as Exhibit B. Court will recess for two hours while evidence is being considered. There's no chance of losing this case, is there? Not a chance, Salamander, not a chance. You better be sure. I haven't lost yet, and I don't intend to start now. You're on the wrong track. I've run this territory for the last 10 years, fair and square. And there isn't a living soul that can say a word against me. That's right. Dead men tell no tale. I don't approve of Clay's high-handed methods. Trying a case at the point of a gun. It's just a crooked play of his to swindle me and you and all the rest of the ranchers out of our land. That's what I think of you, you wart-slinging law pirate. You haven't got the backbone to come out here and make a living like a man. You're nothing but a yellow-livered land shark that don't even carry a gun. I don't need one. No, you don't. What's the matter? Is your powder damp? Some other time. And the evidence before the court proves conclusively that while the defendant, Alexander Stiles, has filed on all these water rights, he is entitled to only one claim in accordance with the homestead laws of the country. Therefore, it becomes the duty of this court to declare the aforementioned water rights are in public domain, open for filing. <laughs> On the case. What case? The case about the water. They put in that in cases too? I thought there wasn't a chance for a slip up. I don't understand it. I beat you in a civil case, Tiles, but I specialize in criminal law, particularly murder. Ash, this calls for your kind of law now. Take the shortcut to Red Rock Canyon. You've got to pass through there to file on that water. Don't let anybody through but my men. I'll have them file on those claims with proxies. How will I know who to pick off? My men will be wearing white armbands. Go on, get going. Now, you see what your friend Clay's done? If we don't get back to the ranch first, we lose it. Now, you all know what to file on. You put your life in Wait a minute. Follow me. Shoot every rider that ain't marked. 
Are you hurt? It's my leg. Well, I'll take one of the horses and ride on ahead. Come on, let me help you. Val. She's riding on ahead. And you reckon with me if she's molested by any of your land grabbing outfit. Shebang's got white armbands on. Yeah, and you can't tell who they are from here. there without a white band on your arm, you may be killed. By one of your own men, I suppose. It's nice of you to warn me. You'd better turn around and go back to your dad. I'll ride on and file on your ranch for you. You will not. I wouldn't trust you. All right, then. Go ahead. There comes one out with a white armband on. There comes the other one. That's that lawyer fella. Got him. Get the horses. Get away! 
Come into this cave. Wait a minute. Don't take any chances. We got them now. We'll smoke them out. We're safe in here. They'll smoke us out. Well, don't worry about that. Let's go. Go where? Out the other end. This cave's like a badger hole. Given that arm the yellow specks, I'd sure sneak out there and give them full cats a dose of lead. Pete, you and Steve get behind that rock, and when they come out, fill them full of lead. You let that kid Clay make a monkey out of you in court. Your blunderings cost me practically all my water rights. From now on, you and I are through. Go on, get your stuff. Get out of here. That suits me fine. Now, about my cut. That enough? That's very fair. Good day, gentlemen. I'll set to give you this. No. Oh. Wait a minute. All right, boys. Why can't we go back to town? Not with your arm like that. You ain't in no condition to get into a shooting match. Did, uh, Miss Jackson get through all right? Well, now, well. What you winking at me for? Doggone it, Josh. Can't you keep quiet? Why, you cantankerous old coyote. What are you up to? Wait and see. Why, Belle, what are you doing here? Are you badly hurt, Joan? Oh, only a scratch. Come on. Where are you going? We're going for a walk. But I don't want to talk. I want to stay right here with them. Come on, you old horn toad. I want to tell you how sorry I am, John, for what I said today. I realize now how wrong I was. Oh, that's all right. We all make mistakes. That's why we have lawyers. You certainly wasted a lot of good advice on me. Did you file on your land all right? I did, thanks to you. It would have been terrible to lose it. Yes, you made things so pleasant there. I've always enjoyed coming to see you. Then you won't let what happened change your feelings towards us. I should say not. What's the matter, Billings? Rooster's been killed. Killed? I shot him. It's just as I predicted. Now, boys, our cattle are worth a fortune. It's been hard going, but I'm sure glad I stuck it out. I'm for us all getting together and making a drive to Abilene. There's the best bit of news I've seen in many a day. Think of it, cattle $20 a head instead of three. What good's it gonna do us? 
law made you give back most of your stock to the rancher. I just heard they was all going to drive their cattle through to Kansas. Good. They beat me in court, all right. But I've got them now. When they start driving their herds up to Abilene, they've got to hit Sweetwater. It's the only water after that 60 miles of desert. Yes, and we'll make them pay plenty, too. Round up every head of stock on the ranches I can still control. They don't want to give them to you? Take them. Load the salamander safe on a wagon. I'm heading for Sweetwater. with my cattle. These ain't yours, they're styles. I paid for these, I've got a contract. Keep moving, boys. You and Styles will answer to the law for this. Yes, and here's our answer. Kyle's men took our cattle and... When he protested, Ash shot him. The murderer. What are you going to do? I'm going to shoot a skunk. No, no, I mean Stiles. And you'll have to go a long way. What do you mean? He and his bunch left for Sweetwater this morning. How do you know? Huh? I say, how do you know? I got ears, ain't I? Well, why didn't you tell me a fall? I tried to, but you said I talked too much. Hank, you and Josh round up the ranchers and bring them here. They're getting ready for the big drive to Abilene. Tell them it's important. Come on. Where are you going? Right in. You can't write. You can't even read. Oh, come on. Styles and these men are waiting for you at Sweetwater. They know that your cattle, after crossing 60 miles of desert, can't turn back. They've got to have water. Are you men ready to go through with this thing? Yeah. We're Let's ready. go. Sure, I'll go along. Will you lead us? I'll be with you. I'm heading that way on a private matter. Let's go. We'll take care of them. We'll round up the herds and we'll get started. Come on. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I got about 70. Come on, John. Sweetwater Canyon right ahead of us. You sure know this country? Yeah. I'm right at home here. There's about 6,000 head coming up the canyon. Yeah? How many men driving them? I'd say around 20. You better go back and keep an eye on them. Charlie, go and close the gate. I'll go with Charlie. Hey, here's where we do a little collecting. <laughs>
Up that gun. Put your hands up. What do you want, Clay? Tell Stiles to meet me at the gate. I want to talk to him. Tell him to come unarmed and alone. And I'll be the same. Now get going. It's Clay and his men. He wants to have a talk with you at the gate. He says come alone unarmed and he'll do the same. You're not going to do it, are you? Certainly. He might be framing you. I don't know. We'll beat him to it. We'll frame him first. You take a couple of men, go up in the rocks where you can watch him while I'm talking to him. When I take my handkerchief out of my pocket, let him have it. Remember, no shooting until I take out my handkerchief. All right, men. On your mind, Clay? A couple of things. Hmm? I want you to open this gate so our cattle can have water. Well, I'll be glad to open it. For 50% of the herd? Siles, you have no right to block this trail. No? Well, this is one piece of property I've got a legal deed for. And I know how you got it. What do you mean? I'm John Claiborne. Siles, I want you and Ash to surrender. You're going back to Cottonwood and stand trial for murder. Are you trying to be funny? Get ready. Don't get that signal, Stiles. Or we'll both be dead. Watch. All right, Hank. See? What do you shoot for? We're partners, ain't we? You shoot, I shoot. Don't think I'd be fool enough to come out here without cover, do you? And I know the kind of a man I'm dealing with. I'll give you just three minutes to surrender. Or we're coming in after you. All right, boys, we're gonna take Sweetwater. Get into the rocks and undercover. Young Claiborne, I tell you. Claiborne? The kid? Yes. If we don't get him, he'll hang us. Here they come. Half the herd to you, men, if you'll wipe them out. Pete, you take some men and cover the pass. I guess we're both Start sawing on that gate post. I'll see what I can do to drive him out of it. What do you say? We got to start shooting at the gate post. How high up? About as high as a rabbit. What kind of a rabbit? 
jackrabbit. Get him. You fellas take care of the herd. You ain't aiming to go after him alone, are you? He'll get you in them rocks and lay for you. I'll take that chance.
Put it up, Ash. I'm gonna give you that chance you've been waiting for. And do you, John, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Aren't she? I said, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? Not me. I ain't the mankind. There's your man. 